I first came in a few minutes ago, mm -hmm. it was shooting up. A sickening sight, almost two feet of rainwater and raw sewage in basements. After today's storm, neighbors left with a nasty cleanup job. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Caitlin McCarthy. Powerful storms caused flash flooding in Summit, Stark and Portage counties this afternoon. Some streets ended up underwater. Adding to the misery, neighbors are now cleaning up the mess in their homes. Michelle Nix has the breaking details from Ravenna. The floodwaters were so high here at Bramley Mobile Home Park, this bridge was totally covered. And firefighters had to bring in rescue boats because some people couldn't make it out of their mobile homes. Flash flooding led to the Portage County Water Rescue Team being called in at this trailer park in Ravenna. About two and a half inches of rain fell in just one hour in Portage County and the onslaught of the downpour overwhelmed sewer systems. Those who live here tell me the ground was also already saturated from a hard rain the day before. I'm going to say the yards across the road were about four foot. Yeah, it was almost up to the bottom of their homes into the homes. Jennifer Holt tells me the flooding was so bad, several car engines were ruined and she feared she wouldn't make it home. But when special drain crews were called in because of the sewer backup, the water finally started to recede. Actually, the neighborhood kids like loved it. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, they were riding through the puddles and in the park and playing. Yeah. Over on Riddle Avenue in Ravenna, homeowners were faced with more than a foot and a half of rainwater and sewage flooding their homes. Jeff Haynes says he's praying he can salvage some family keepsakes in boxes in his basement. When I got here, the you know the water was spewing everywhere. The water was up above the second step. It was um, it was a river down here. Haynes' refrigerator that was against a wall in one room flipped over and was moved seven to eight feet to another room because the water was so high. But he says the city did come out to assess the situation. My wife had called the non-emergency line with the police, and then the city showed up. Uh, to determine whether, you know, there was, it was on their end, whether it was on our end, uh, you know, said that the system's just completely over, overwhelmed right now. The Haynes family says SurfPro will be out on Sunday to help clean up the raw sewage and assess the damage. And while some at the mobile home park say they were never warned that they're in a flood zone and special insurance was needed, Haynes says he's just hoping he'll be able to salvage some cherished keepsakes. You know, we feel fortunate overall that uh, even, you know, with where it's at now, that, that things have receded and, um, but, but, you know, we're more concerned as we kind of dig out over the next couple of days to figure out, um, you know, what we, what we have to get rid of. Reporting in Portage County, Michelle Nix, 19 News. Now